Hi everybody, welcome back to Cast Book Nook. Today is Sunday. Today's Saturday, people. Saturday. It's 29th of September. This is going to be my October to be read list. Um, I just watched my September to be read list. And I realized that I don't have as many books left from September as I thought I did. So, yes, in my weekly wrap-up videos, you'll see a lot of these books that I probably haven't read. But the carryover from last month to this month are these six. So, we've got Sarah's Key by Tatiana De Rosne, that's the top one. Probability of Miracles by Wendy Wonder. Wait for Me. Don't remember who wrote it. Wicked City by Beatrix Williams. The Lost Sisterhood by Anne Fortier. And The Witch of Painted Sorrows by M.J. Rose. So these are my six carryovers from September. Um, I'm not going to talk about these six because I did talk about them in my September to be read list along with my library haul. So go check those out. If you want to know more about these six, um, can't believe there's only six books out of the TBR list that I didn't read. I'm proud of myself because I had 30 some odd books on that list. So, um, let me rephrase that 30 some odd books that I hoped to get through. Some of them I DNF'd, some of them I returned, but those are the last six that I had for last month. Um, so. This next set is books that are new to the TBR, starting with the TBR jar pick for this month, which was Spellkey Trilogy by Anne Downer. So it's the three books in the Spellkey Trilogy that she did, 630 pages. I read this when I was a sophomore in high school. Um, at the heart of the story is a journey made by two outcasts. So Caitlin, a wild girl child accused of witchcraft and sentenced to to exile in the Abbey of Night Style, and the Badger, a disappointing ward of the Abbot of Third Moon Sea, who has been ordered to escort her. So, you can already kind of tell there's going to be a romance to this. There is. It focuses on fantasy elements with fairies and witchcraft and um, Kate, the Caitlin has two different colored eyes, which is how she gets accused of witchcraft in the beginning. And it's just this, the story of how they meet, where they end up, the people that they encounter. And I really enjoyed this story back then. So hopefully I'll get to this sooner rather than later. Um, speaking of fantasy and series, um, Trader's Blade I'm supposed to finish tomorrow, September 30th. It's only 300, maybe 400 pages, but it's the first book in the series. So you've got Traitor's Blade, Night Shadow, Saint's Blood, and Tyrant's Throne. These three are, I want to say 500 plus pages each. I want to say closer to 600 pages for all, for each one. So science fiction, fantasy, I don't remember what the series is about, but I want to say it's kind of along the same lines of Game Game of Thrones, just not as epic. So we'll we'll see. Hopefully I can get through those. I'm hoping to get through Traitor's Blood tomorrow and then these, the next three by next Sunday. So not reading a whole lot outside of these, outside of the series. I'm trying to finish series. So there's that. Um... Another book that is a doorstop is The Poppy War by R.F. King. So this is, she is a peasant, she is a student, she is a soldier, she is a goddess. So you take a girl and you put her in an army and yeah. So I almost want to say it's set in China. But yeah. Hopefully, may kind of go along the same lines of these, but this one I think is more realistic fiction rather than science fiction fantasy. So, there's that. Um, where to go to next? I got several stacks, but um, because you love to hate me, 
by BookTube, you guys, um, and several other authors. Should be a good Halloween fix. Um, 13 different stories, so maybe I'll alternate between these stories and the other books that I gotta, that I'm hoping to get through this month. Um, Midwinter Blood by Marcus Sedgwick. This is a overdrive book that I wanted to read physical format because there's seven different stories that get tied into this. It's almost like Cloud Atlas, sort of, um, in the way that it's told from four different perspectives with four different storylines. So this has seven, sort of tiny, so in lieu of all the doorstop books that are sitting over here, um, I can alternate with this one. This is set in 2007, 2073 on a remote island where this guy recognizes someone, but it's not possible because he has never seen her before. He's greeted warmly, but he knows that something's wrong, and what ends up unfolding is seven different stories. The story of an archaeologist who unearths a mysterious artifact, of an airman who finds himself far from home, of a painter, a ghost, a vampire, and a viking, and a love so primal and passionate it slips the bonds of time. We'll see about this one. Um. Also, Overdrive books that I picked up in physical format, Best Exotic Marigold Hotel by Deborah McGack. Um, started this in audiobook format, didn't particularly care for it, picked it up in physical form. Then, uh, same thing with The Girl in Times Square by Paulina Simons. This focuses on a girl who's trying to finish college and pay her rent in her search for life. In New York City, her best friend and roommate vanishes without a trace. Uh, yeah. So, mystery book. It's also done by the same person that wrote The Bronze Horseman, who I have not heard very good things about, so I'm hoping this book is mostly good. Then we have The Midnight Witch by Paula Braxton. Um, same thing with the first three, first four. These three. Picked it up on Overdrive. Figured I'd pick it up in physical format because I didn't particularly care for the narrator. And then new books. We've got A Thousand Pieces of You by Claudia Gray. This is um, about a thousand lives, a thousand possibilities, and one fate. I don't know a whole lot about this. Somebody mentioned it on in their booktube thing. I put it on hold on the library like I normally do, and it came through. So, science fiction book. Yay. Um, Illusion of Fate, Illusions of Fate by Kirsten White. Same woman that wrote um, Now I Burn, the Anti-Darken trilogy, along with Chaos of Stars. Again, I didn't like Chaos of Stars. She wrote this, I want to say, before um, And I Darken. So, if I had stayed on the thoroughfare that day, not taking the alley, I would never have met him. For some reason, the thought of never knowing him leaves me feeling restless and aching. I sit defeated and shuffle the cards for the hundredth time. I cut the deck, close my eyes, and draw a card at random. Fate. I always draw fate. Interesting. So, a lot of Halloween books, a lot of witch books in those. Um, now to the fun part. We have Less by Andrew Sean Greer. 19, not 1950s, huh? 50-year-old novelist whose boyfriend is getting married, and he's invited to it, and then to... I guess say that he can't go he accepts all these different invitations and he's trying to figure out how to go to all the events that he's set himself up for and the kind of fallout from that i've heard really good things about that book um last night i sang to the monster by benjamin allier sands this is the same author that wrote aristotle and dante discover the secrets of the universe 
this one is about alcoholism and depression. I think somebody mentioned it in a booktube and some people have dogs, not me. I have a therapist. His name is Adam. I'd rather have a dog. So, yeah. Depression, alcohol, therapy. And then The Walkable City by Jeff Speck. Um, this is... I'll tell you what it's about. How to say... How downtown can save America one step at a time. So, urban... Um, yeah. Urban stuff. Nonfiction book about cities. I don't sound excited about these books at all, guys. I really don't. But those are my physical books for October. Um, audio books for October that I won't show you guys the pictures of, but I do have some of the physical books. The Shadow of the Wind by Carlos Ruiz Zafon. Um, father is a bookseller and Barcelona, 1945, a city slowly heals from its war wounds, and Daniel, an antiquarian book dealer's son who mourns the loss of his mother, finds solace in a mysterious book entitled The Shadow of the Wind by one Julian Carax. I think that's how you say it. But when he sets out to find the author's other works, he makes a shocking discovery. Someone has been systematically destroying every copy of every book Carax has written. In fact, Daniel may have the last of Carrick's books in existence. Soon, Daniel's seemingly innocent quest opens a door into one of Barcelona's darkest secrets. An epic story of murder, madness, and doomed love. So, I've had this on my shelf for a while. I picked the physical copy up in Nevada on a book haul that I did while I was out in California. I haven't picked this up, although my hold for this on Overdrive should be coming through sometime soon. Within, like, the next week. Yay! Um, also, so this is book three in the Game of Thrones series. Book two came through. The hold came through for book two audio version. I picked up third audio version, third book in audio format, and then the fourth book, A Feast of Crows, is on hold for audio format and should hopefully be here sometime this week, too. So, I had a lot of audiobooks to get through. A lot of doorstop books to get through this month. Um, other audiobooks that I had. So I gotta get my list. Um, the Danish Girl, which I just talked about in my weekly wrap-up video for 23rd. Queen of the Tyrolean by Erica Johansson. Again, weekly wrap-up video. Victoria and Abdul. Wrap-up video. And then, um, Stillwater Creek and Kilman Lake. By Rachel Kane, the author of Ink and Bone, the Great Library series. Great Librarian series. Don't remember that one. Um, and I think that's it. Oh, and The Plastic Magician by Charlene Holmberg. So that's my October to be read list. Again, there's like 30 some odd books on this one. A lot of them are doorstops. Um, along with the door stops and my TBR list, I also have play practice. So, I did an audition a couple weeks ago for the Chronicles of Narnia that's being hosted by the Howard County Arts Collective, so I'm super proud of myself. I did make it into the play, so play practice starts Tuesday, October 2nd. So, along with play practice, three classes, um, possibility of picking up another class, and then another class that starts later in the month. I have a very exciting month planned for myself and my reading list, and we will see how many books I actually get through. I don't have a lot of holds coming through, but that always changes. So, with that, I will talk to you guys here in a few more minutes. I got one more video to record today, which is my unhaul video, which, uh, if you've noticed my background with the books, they look a little bit neater. I will talk about that in a second. So, hope you guys have a great day, and I will talk to you guys soon.